Good afternoon, everybody. Got Cody Ashmore, Director of Weekly Option Strategies, obviously here at Simpler Trading. And in tonight's option-free video, what I want to bring to you is the concept of reversion to the mean, right? When price gets extended, it usually goes back to the mean, you know, like the average. And in this case, the 21 EMA is what we use here. And look for a price to continue on. So when price gets extended, it has to revert back. What I want to do in this video is show you how I prepare to set up a trade for a reversion to the mean, uh, the type of option strategy I use for it, and why. All right, so first is the cues. Um, obviously, it's been very much outperforming. We've rallied up. And one thing I do like to do is, you know, just like anybody else, find support and resistance. So I did draw, you know, see this little line that says resistance up here. It's just from this wick up here. And you see that's right where we're stalling. All right, cool. So that's one concept. We're rallying up into resistance. Another good concept to know is when price is getting extended or how to know when it's extended other than just going into resistance is knowing when it gets outside of average true range we're almost up here at the 30 tr on the daily time frame up here at the two the second atr on the weekly time frame and that's it for now <laughs> i had to look over here for a second so we're extended on uh, definitely the daily time frame but you know the weekly time frame would certainly keep moving but nothing's to say you can't pull back a little bit um, down here before potentially going back up. So what exactly happened here first? What, um, before I talk about uh, why I did it, let's talk about the options position that I'm in. Or that I, I alerted to the options room today. So we are in April 14th, April 21st, 310 put debit spread. Now... The put debit spread was only 88 cents. So what does that mean? For one position, you have a max loss of only 88 bucks. So it's cheap. They're super cheap. And you see the further down, actually the further down the price goes, the higher your P&L goes. And, the, and I did get this question earlier, and I'll answer it here as well. So like why a uh, put calendar versus a put butterfly? Well, for one is whenever you do a butterfly, and price is going down, IV is going to increase implied volatility. In a butterfly, you want IV to decrease because you're short these two strikes. But when you do a calendar, it's actually Vega positive. So when price is going down and implied volatility actually increases, then that just means your PL gets higher as it comes lower, targeting this 310 level. And as you can see now, since entering, the price or the position is fairly above break even, and I'm looking to see if I get flush lower within the next 10 days. Basically, saying with this position is saying within the next 10 days, I expect price to pull back to the mean. So, this is the option, option position I did. Um, if you're trading, you don't have a position on for a potential pullback that may unfold in the market. Um, here's a way you can hedge your long positions if you're net long. All right, so this is what I put on. Now, the question is why? Okay, so I personally like to use these reversal arrows. They used to be called high of low bar, high of, sorry, low of high bar, high of low bar. Um, but I believe they're just called reversal arrows now. <clears throat> so in a nutshell, what is that? What I want to do is bring your attention to this part right here. So right here. So this green line is the 21 price bar channel. And this one is the lower end of the 21 price bar channel. So basically the average of the 21 bars. And you can see how price is contained. Whenever a candle touches an upper end, but then a candle closes below it. So in this case, this candle would have to close below here to have triggered an arrow. You typically get a reversal sign. So if you look um, in the bigger picture over here, you see how there was a sell here. <clears throat> we got to move down. Yeah, I got to move down. And then we had a buy arrow, quick little pop another buy arrow, and then you can see how we're up again. Um, so in a nutshell, it's a reads price action in a way to tell you when a pullback potentially is happening. Now this is in, on a 195 minute chart, meaning so every two candles is two days. Now, does it mean I am correct and we're gonna be gonna flush down? No, not by any means, but this just shows you that price is slowing down at resistance. And I think that with the idea that price may come down to 310, after being pretty extended and drifting lower within the next 10 days, is completely logical. And so since uh, price is extended into resistance, 
right? Actually, instead of me just rambling that, let me let me show you. That might be a little bit better. Okay, so the setup Y. Let's do a quick recap. We're up here at the sec uh, second ATR on the weekly time frame. We're also hitting this resistance. We're almost near the third ATR on the daily time frame, right? So those are our definitions of extended. Now from there, what do we want to do? From extension, we need a signal. Oh, not that chart, this signal. Now our trigger, if you will, was this low of high bar. And meaning this candle right here hit the 21 price bar channel, we close below. And then where am I wrong? If price breaks right through it, it keeps on running, say we get this big move, well then obviously I'm wrong. But this is basically placing a bet that we start to revert back down towards the support level and start moving back down towards the mean, which is the daily 21 EMA. And also, like I mentioned, we did a put calendar because of that one. There we go, finally. Did a put calendar simply because as price goes lower, right, prices will go lower, implied volatility is going to increase. And that will make our position uh, more profitable at our targets. But that's all I have for y'all. Um, just wanted to present a way for y'all to potentially hedge your portfolio if you are net long. And also a way to look at potentially if the reversion is starting to unfold. Uh, and one thing I didn't mention, um, one way to really get the trigger, which we probably won't, is I like to see it happen on a four sorry 195 minute and then follow it up on the daily time frame but in order for the daily time frame to trigger run we're gonna have to go all the way actually no it would have to be tomorrow's candle it would have to break that low then we'll have one because it did wick it today so if we do break today's low then we'll have a trigger but i like to see it form on the daily time frame within the next few days but that's all i have for y'all hope you found this video helpful and and formative <laughs> and all the good stuff uh, but yeah everyone have a great rest of your um, afternoon and or evening and have a great one see you in the next one guys take care without simpler trading i could not have financial independence this is one of the best investments that i ever made in my life it's helping me find consistency it's one of the things that won me 